Hello, cyclocross friends, and thanks for tuning in to Crosshairs Television as we take a quick tour of Rochester Cyclocross in Genesee Valley Park, Rochester, New York. Here we are at the gravel start. We got a lot of grass sections in here that lets the field string out a bit at the beginning. There's a little pothole there that we just uh, went over. That's something that riders are going to have to avoid. We've seen it trip up some folks in the past. Long straight grass sections as we curve around before we get to the fun parts. There is over this creek crossing that's coming up, this uh, after the pits, that is a little bridge that we're gonna take a look at. This can be a little tricky, especially if there's a lot of traffic coming in here at the same time. Through the woods, and this is routed a little different than it has been in the past as we come around this pavilion. These turns are the same, but it dips down a little more severe here around this tree. This is a lot steeper than it looks in the video and could give some folks some problems. They might see some dismounting at that first choke point. Now we're coming up to this hill that has been run in reverse in the past. We've come from the right and gone to the left. This year we're coming from the left and going to the right. In the other direction, it was semi-rideable. Most people were able to do it, but a lot of the elites in the back of the field were running it. Here, it looks like it's very rideable and we should see most of the field making it through there, although it gets really tight right before the descent. Here's a new part that we're looking at. We go back underneath the bridge. In the past, we've gone on over the bridge and over the road. Organizers made the decision to build that new bridge underneath, which really saves them a headache from no longer having to hire police to close down the road for the race to go over top of it. Here we are entering this wooded section. This is where it gets fun. We'll see a couple of these log sections right there is one, another cut out, and then a third. And again, these chicanes are really tough. The dirt back here is super loose and even gonna get looser as many riders get over it. A little drop down, another log as we continue through the, the woods. This off camber section that we're going through right now that we're speeding right through, not as easy as it looks with us just walking it the other day. Coming around here and this is your big run up. A little janky on the film there, but it's much harder than it looks. It's a steep run up into a quick downhill. And now we get our first, you know, for some riders, this might be some respite, might be some rest. For others, they are going to be going hard here on this tarmac section. This is a really fast section of the course, something uh, that I think we're going to see full out once we see the flow bikes live stream later in the day. End of the tarmac section, and we're gonna dip down behind this river bridge. This is another little tricky section. If we get caught up into big groups, you're probably gonna see folks dismounting here and having to run around this little corner. Back into even a bigger off-camber section. This is another one that has given folks uh, problems in the past. We've actually seen race-winning moves coming out of that little U section. Back into the grass, and it's really an easy run from here on out. Easy as in technical, hard as in it's just gonna be straight on power from here until the finish. And we still have a couple more minutes until we get to the end of the lap. A Little more tarmac in here as we come back to pit two. And now we're gonna head to our planks. We're calling them the baby planks. They look a little low. We should see most of the elite fields, at least in the men, hopefully a lot in the women's as well, being able to ride these planks, not very high, about medium size. They looked a lot shorter in the video than they really are, but they're definitely less than 40 centimeters. Another long straight, and we'll start heading towards this sort of slight off camber uphill. Couple turns up to the tree line. This is where the finish really sets up. We're coming up to the to the sprint here in about a, a minute, and this is where the, the race gets really strategic. Most racers want to be first around, around the finishing, last finishing corner, and this is where they set up that move. Coming up to the stairs now, so most of the field will be dismounting, running up these. We're, we're checking uh, now. We're not sure if they are actually Belgian stairs or not. We'll get final word on that later in the day. Around these last couple turns, and this is a great 
on camber turn that we have coming up it's really this nice berm right about here that the riders are able to rip around as they start to make their way towards the finish back into the daylight we're going to have one left turn remaining then hit the gravel and sprint for home there it is that is one lap of your rochester cyclocross course once again flow bikes will have the coverage on later today we will see you then Thank you.